Hello, uh, my name is Ayush and I'm going to share my research in brief in this short presentation. In this study, we are using thermal luminescence thermochronology uh, to obtain thermal history of rock samples and use this history to interpret seismic hazard in Southern California. This work is a collaborative effort with colleagues from University of California in Los Angeles. So I'll start by giving a brief background of my research. Uh, so my study area, which is the San Gorgonio Pass region, is situated within the Southern San Andreas Fault Zone. It's a key player in earthquake dynamics due to its structural complexity and the challenges in understanding its fault activity over the last 100 to 10,000 years. Now, prior research in this area has utilized low temperature thermochronometers and cosmogenic 10 beryllium dating techniques, uh, but these methods present limitations in temporal resolution and often induce bias. So our study introduces TL thermochronology as a novel technique to measure in situ erosion rates, offering new insights into fault dynamics and seismic hazard in Southern California. So the first figure in my poster is a hillshade map of the Southern San Andreas Fault Zone, and it shows all the major faults in Southern California. Uh, and it shows the Northern and Southern stress pathways that are marked in green and yellow respectively. Now these pathways are vital uh, for understanding how slip is transmitted along the multi-stranded San Andreas Fault. And our study area is highlighted here in a red box. So we're trying to answer two main research questions through this poster. Firstly, how does slip partitioning happen among San Gorgonia Pass fault strands? And which of these fault strands have the potential to induce large earthquakes in future? And secondly, can differences in bedrock erosion rates across active fault strands provide insights into tectonic uplift and fault activity? The second figure here is a zoomed in version of our study area. It's uh, it shows the regional geological units, uh, the sampling sites and the fault strands that we have investigated in the study. Uh, this map essentially shows our sampling strategy and how we are using this strategy to address our research questions. So moving forward, TL thermochronology uh, is an ultra low temperature dating technique. It uses luminescence signals from feldspar to reconstruct a bedrock's exhumation history, offering insights into the thermal history over tens to hundreds of thousands of years. Now, this method is critical for understanding topographical changes that are driven by tectonic and erosional processes. Now, figure three is a schematic uh, that shows closure temperatures for various thermochronometers, including our own TL method uh, for different mineral systems. Now, it helps illustrate how TL thermochronology fits within the broader context of dating techniques, offering unique insights into the Earth's thermal history. While other traditional thermochronometers like Appetite uh, Uranium, Thorium, Helium, and Appetite Fission Track uh, are well suited for much higher temperature ranges, uh, TL thermochronology can be used to probe the thermal history of a rock for very shallow depths that correspond to low temperatures. Now, so this is our uh, result plot here, figure four, which represents cooling age versus erosion rate plots. It provides a direct comparison of erosion rates from our sample locations, and it in a way it visually shows the spatial variability in erosion, and by extension, the tectonic activity spread across different fault strands in the study area. Now, our study area primarily focused on the Galena Peak Fault and the Mill Creek uh, fault configuration, so where we observe distinct erosion patterns along the western and the eastern segments. Now samples near the eastern Mill Creek fault segment undergo erosion at a slower pace than samples near the western end. The slow erosion rates exhibited by samples along the eastern segment of the Mill Creek fault, which is here, uh, situated near the steep valley head of the, uh, of the catchment suggests an upward migration of Nick Point uh, in response to a base level shift. Uh, now, these are some of the crude observations, but we also observed like many other interesting patterns, which and I cannot discuss here due to shortage of time, but I would love to talk about those details in my poster. And to conclude with, basically, through our study, we have demonstrated that TL thermochronology is a potent tool for detecting active fault segments and understanding the dynamics of fault activity in the San Gorgonio Pass region. 
uh, findings can contribute valuable insights into seismic hazard assessment. So I thank you for your attention and I look forward to interacting with you all on the Discover Day. Uh, feel free to post your questions if something confuses you or interests you. Thank you.